Hi, my name is Anselmo and this is a presentation about our work whose name is Enable Internet of Media Things with Edge-Based Virtual Multimedia Sensors. Um, and we, this is a, a introduction uh, of a demo that we are perform uh, after this uh, short presentation. And we are talking about the uh, introduction of our topics the VPRISM architecture, architecture and after that the demo. Um, so the Internet of Things uh, is uh, become a continuous source of data and uh, traditionally the data is not uh, consumed directly from the device that produces the data. So we have a middle layer that uh, performs some kind of process over this uh, data stream. So the Cloud of Think paradigm uh, is uh, a, a way of uh, using IoT when the cloud acts like the, uh, this middle tire between the data source and the data consumer. And um, virtualization is, uh, uh, is a way to uh, abstract the physical world and solve problems like uh, heterogeneity. But uh, when we, uh, the, we are talking of Internet of Media Things, it's um, a, a new type of uh, device that produces uh, multimedia stream. And uh, this type of stream is, uh, have some, has some uh, specificities like the data is uh, a book and uh, need a high bandwidth to uh, deliver the data from the device to the consumer. And usually the, the data uh, is complex. It's not uh, a, tech, a plain text. Uh, the device that, per, that process this stream uh, needs to uh, have some capabilities to do it in the uh, time that the user uh, is uh, waiting. And uh, multimedia applications are usually latency sensitive. So if we use the cloud as this uh, middle layer, we can have um, problems with latency because the data needs to uh, travel from the device to the cloud and back to the user. And many times the user is uh, near from of the device that produced the stream. So one strategy to solve this problem is using edge computing and uh, it is a, a horizontal system level architecture that distributes the computing process over the uh, continuum uh, since the think until the cloud and the edge node can have uh, different uh, capabilities in terms of CPU, memory and uh, storage. Because of that, we uh, use edge computing to virtualize our multimedia sensors. And here you can see a picture of how it works. We have, uh, for example, in a, a company, uh, many places and in each place we have some uh, physical device, cameras and microphone. And this device produces multimedia stream that will be consumed by some application and uh, we create virtual multimedia sensors that will receive the data from the physical device uh, execute over this stream some kind of process and after that deliver to the application and the vms can uh, make a lot of things for example it can uh, convert can uh, be a uh, intrude detection system it can convert uh, streams from one type to another. It can uh, use over a uh, audio stream to convert uh, speech from test. And using this strategy, we can uh, improve the uh, types of ap application that a company can uh, provide. So now we are going to talk about our architecture, uh, whose name is vPRISM and it is a three-layer architecture and on the things tire we have the uh, things uh, in this case it's 
cameras and microphone camera and microphone and it will produce the multimedia stream that will be processed uh, inside by our VMS but in our architecture our the, the VMS not receive the data directly from the device we have a uh, entity called virtual device uh, it's a one-to-one -one relationship between the physical thing and here we can see that uh, for example the um, smartphone is uh, producing data and a virtual device for example here uh, it is receiving the data from the smartphone and uh, the stream will be uh, sent to one or more uh, VMS and each VMS will execute over this multimedia stream some uh, type of transformation process detection and after that the uh, result of this uh, processing will be delivered to the application that uh, is hosted in the cloud in the edge or even in the things tire and our architecture uh, the components of the architecture is hosted in uh, edge nodes too so it is a, a distributed architecture that runs over multiple heterogeneous add nodes that is uh, compose our uh, edge tire uh, infrastructure um, and now we are going to proceed with a demo and uh, here you can access more uh, information about our project uh, and now we are proceeding with our demo Mm, remember, Alpha is the implementation and VPRISM is the architecture that we presented earlier. So we are going to talk about Alpha. And uh, first we are going to show the environment when, uh, where we perform our experiments and our demo. And let's, let's dive in. First, uh, we are simulating our environment uh, with a uh, multiple virtual machine, each virtual machine represents uh, an edge node. So here we have uh, two uh, running edge nodes. Uh, our environment is a, a Linux environment and we are using um, Docker to, um, to virtualize all the components that we uh, show uh, in the uh, previous picture. And here we can see the um, web client that is used to interact with the architecture with the implementation and here we can see how the how the components that we uh, need to manage in order to uh, create our virtual multimedia sensor uh, first we are going to see the edge nodes that are that will run our virtual device and our vms uh, here we can see that we have three uh, different uh, edge nodes, each one running uh, with a virtual machine and um, with a Docker uh, running inside each edge node. It's important to note that our architecture is, our implementation is running over a Docker and if, and it can, uh, it is um, a, a well-known tool when we are uh, executing uh, software implemented in uh, multiple uh, program languages and uh, platforms. So here um, we can see, for example, in the S3 or, or better in S6, uh, inside this add node, we can execute this VMS, these uh, six different types of VMS. Uh, and here uh, now we are going to see. Uh, our VMS type and the virtual device. Uh, a VMS type is uh, an implementation of a uh, virtual multimedia, sen multimedia sensor that executes some kind of uh, performance over a multimedia stream. For example, a uh, video noise uh, VMS noise detector is a VMS that can um, uh, receive an audio stream and if the audio uh, is over uh, uh, some level it can trigger a, a notification for example uh, video merge is another VMS that can receive multiple 
uh, video sources and combine it in only one source and deliver to an application only one source. And we have many different types of VMS that we implemented in alpha. And we are going to start some VMS uh, after this, uh, uh, during this presentation. Uh, and we have multiple virtual devices as well. For example, we have a virtual device that know how to collect data, data from uh, a, mic a microphone attached in a USB, for example, uh, or we can access a USB camera or we can access a, a RTSP video uh, source, for example, a, a, a camera or a smartphone that are running our one RTSP uh, server. So, uh, and now uh, here we are listing our the running VMS. I'm going to stop this VMS that is running. Uh, I can click in stop and I can remove this VMS. We are not using this anymore. And here in virtual device, we have multiple uh, instance of the uh, virtual device that virtual device type that I showed earlier. I'm going to stop these two uh, virtual devices as well. So uh, now we are going to execute a, a quick demo about how everything works. And uh, it will be, uh, we are going to execute uh, uh, some one simple task and uh, we are going to, uh, uh, to show how uh, the things are connected. Well, first we are going to need to start some virtual devices. Uh, for this demo, we are going to use a video sample color bar that is a VMS that uh, produces a video stream that will be... Uh, uh, and this video stream is uh, those uh, vertical bars that uh, are showing a, a television when it is uh, offline. It's to simulate, for example, a, a camera. So here uh, we... Uh, are going to start this uh, virtual device and each uh, virtual device and each VMS are running uh, inside a docker uh, container. I'm going to show it, it's interesting. For example, if we are uh, executing a docker ps, here we can, we can see that uh, here, this uh, container is running our video sample and um, it will be uh, produce data and after that we are going to bind it with a uh, VMS that will uh, execute some kind of process over this uh, multimedia stream. Uh, uh, this VMS in particular is running in the local machine. Uh, we, can, we can choose in, uh, for example, if I will execute this uh, component in uh, which edge node of our uh, deploy we can we can execute um, after that we are going to create a VMS uh, I'm going here in VMS uh, types uh, and we are going to create a simple VMS it's uh, uh, in particular don't do nothing over the multimedia stream to be only forward um, a UDP stream to another UDP stream I'm going to start this VMS and when we start a VMS, we need to uh, inform some uh, parameters. For example, I need to define in uh, which edge node this VMS will run. In this case, I'm going to execute this VMS in our uh, S6 edge, edge node. And I'm going to show the name uh, X6. Uh, and um, when we start a VMS, we need to pass some parameters and uh, each type of VMS will have different types of parameter. For example, in this case, we need to pass the IP address and the port uh, where where the application that will um, receive this v this uh, stream or the stream that the VMS will uh, produce uh, is running. In this case, uh, I'm going to execute this the application that will receive this uh, multimedia stream in the in this particular IP um, I'm going to put this IP and this uh, port okay so, uh, so in this uh, in this server uh, are running uh, an application that will receive the multimedia stream produced by this VMS 
Uh, and now I'm going to start the VMS and we, it will the VMS was created. I'm going to show here uh, this this machine. This is the this is the uh, edge node, and here we can see that the container is started using the parameter that we passed earlier. And now we are going to uh, bind the virtual device with the VMS. And now we are going to hear this in in this. Uh, screen and we are going to bind we are going to bind here the video sample color bar at the 500 port and now we are going to bind what um, what it do it does it do. the v the virtual device is sending now the multimedia stream to this particular VMS and it will perform some task over the multimedia stream and deliver to the application that is running in this particular IP and port. So now we are going to um, we are going to run a Python application that that simple uh, collect the data at the uh, one the stream producing this particular port and we can see here this is the stream the video stream produced by the VMS running in uh, that the other uh, the other edge node uh, now we are going to execute another VMS but this VMS is more interesting it's um, it will be this the grayscale this vms in particular uh, convert a video from um, full uh, um, a color video to a grayscale one now we're going to start um, and this vms we are going to execute um, uh, we have some um, allocation algorithms uh, algorithms in, and uh, but now we are selecting manually where we are running and in this case we are executes it in a 6 true that's not and we can call it x61 and using but a different port now um, the the other was I forgot one okay this will be this will be two so we are going to start um we cannot start why we cannot start uh wrong uh, this is important um what happened here i use the uh, s3 but in the s3 we don't have the um, the our uh, yet deployed this particular vms it's only in s6 so now we are going to execute execute s6 and mm, no let's try again uh, probably uh, okay let's start in the local machine so yeah change grayscale let's do it at local machine x1 and now we need to change the startup parameter because we are going to access uh, in a, a local network and we are uh, as they are in the same machine we are need to use the uh, container uh, part so let's start and now we are it started and it, it started at the master machine the local machine and we are going to bind the stream produced by the same the same uh, virtual device and it's important because uh, if it was a, a webcam for example the data was collected only once from the device and the virtual device will split the stream to multiple vms now we can make the bind 
and uh, I'm going to stop this this and we are executing in the 10,000 true and now the uh, data stream is uh, in grayscale nice very nice so it's important to understand that uh, the same virtual device can deliver the data from multiple different types of uh, VMS well and to um, to uh, end our presentation we are uh, we are trying to um, execute a VMS that collect data from a camera uh, I'm going to bind the camera uh, I'm using the, my laptop camera as well so okay now we are going to execute we are going to execute uh, a new v, uh, a new uh, virtual device and this virtual device is the webcam uh, each virtual device also uh, have some parameters and in this case the webcam is uh, attached, attached in this path at the um, at the uh, physical edge node and now we are going to start this um, webcam and for example we can change um, let's try this we can for example unbind the video sample that we are using earlier and we can attach it with our webcam and we can bind and now if we access this data we probably will see we will see yes ha ah, yes hi i'm here too <laughs> uh, very nice uh, here we can see that the data was uh, collected from the uh, the other virtual device and it displayed here and displayed here nice nice well uh, and other uh, you can see that here we can uh, change the uh, virtual device that produced the video stream without need to stop the vms and it will be uh, continuous working so uh, if we are uh, and we have many others uh, interesting things but uh, for this demo i think uh, i already talked too much and if you are interested in this uh, project we have here our github we can access it and uh, uh, know uh, what we are doing and how it how the project is uh, how the project is going so thank you for your attention for your time and um, that's that's all